Hi, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a go at doing a further leads from MAME application, family life. Don't forget to check with the solicitor and don't forget that all of this stuff is subject to change because it is uh, April 2020. So I've gone on Google, I've typed in FLRFP. As you can see, it's the government website here. I'm scrolling down. I click on apply then I click on online forms here. So I'm going to click on that. So I've got to pick. If I'm looking after a child, I don't tick child. A lot of people tick child, don't you tick? Yeah. If you've been here for, you know, X amount of years, again, check with a solicitor. It's private life. So the two generally you're going to tick is either going to be uh, partner route, parent route or private life route. So there you go. Here we go. So partner, parent or the private life one. Yeah. So one generally one of those three. So I'm going to apply as a parent. So I've clicked that, save and continue. So you've got to register your email. Make sure you can access your email because you're going to get all of this through your email. That's how you go back to it. So I'm going to create a password here. So I'm going to type it in. Nice, simple one. QWERTY7. And then they ask you to check it again. So here you go. I'm doing this. Some of the stuff I'm not really going to talk about because you can see it as I'm typing, it's pretty self-explanatory. So the office have emailed me. So I've got to verify this application and I can always go back to it. So there. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to my email, the email I've, I've, I've set up the uh, application for. So here we go, and there it is. I've opened up my email. Sometimes it might go in your junk mail, so check your junk mail. So there it is. I'm going to verify this email to, to confirm it's me. So again, I use my password. I sign back in. Some of this is going to be a bit boring. Again, you need two screens for this. If your child has got a mobile phone or you've got a laptop, and you can, I'm doing this on my phone, so you can do it on your mobile phone, not a problem. So I'm the applicant. Yeah. Don't tick immigration advisor because. With what's going on with uh, COVID-19, we don't know if your immigration advisor is going to be around. So it's better if everything goes to you and then you can always contact an immigration advisor. So I'm just going to check that. Yep, off we go. So I'm the applicant. So I'm going to answer the questions here. A lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to be typing in my name, uh, date of birth, things like that, address, where I'm from. So as you can see, I'm doing that now. Any other names? Nope. Again, yes, you can use my email. To do that. Put your mobile phone in, but I was just doing this quickly so I didn't bother, but it's worth putting your mobile phone in, yeah? All whilst, and, and you're using that while you're in the UK. So, there, you tick that. And again, see a solicitor, make sure this is the right form for you, or contact me. I've put my email at the beginning of this video, yeah? So, you put your postcode in. There you go. Again, you don't use the brush strokes, you use your own address, but I'm just, you know, playing with this so I can show you. Then you can find it, yeah, you can, you've got lots of drop-down menus here, so High Street Smedic, here it is, opposite the Red Cow, we just moved there recently. So, here we go. I'm going to put two years, over two years I've lived there, because if you've lived there less than two years, you have to fill in other bits about where you've lived and I'm kind of trying to speed this through but again it's all very very easy very self-explanatory yeah mail there you go I'm going to say I'm single saving nationality I'm going to say I'm Pakistan here we go again pretty st and, and what happens is when you start typing in the country there's a drop down menu there you go so you can see and then you just click on that drop down menu place of birth is in a drop down menu so you just type that in date of birth I'm making it up making myself younger why not but obviously you put in your correct date of birth passport all of this I'm just typing anything down but for you guys you've got to put all your uh, valid information down and then you know you might have an expired passport so it will if you haven't got a current passport you tick no and then it will move on to your passport uh, information uh, it will come to that if you if you haven't got a current one uh, and you've got an expired passport. So, you know, work through the menu, 
And a lot of times it won't let you go forward, but don't stress about it. Again, contact us, we can help you through this. So here we go. Some countries have ID, some countries don't. I've put no, just to save time, yeah? So I'm doing a lot of stuff here where I'm just trying to save time. Yep, do I have a current, yep, I've got a leave to remain here. And I'm going to put family life. When you do a um, fee waiver and if you get it through, often you get the fee waiver decision after your visa expired. So just put no, but then you put applied for a fee waiver. So it's not a problem because your leave is still seen as continued if you do it within 10 days. So I'm going to put, I'm just making these dates up. Yeah, when your current visa here. What is the end date? So there you go, I'll put that, yeah. If you've done it, put no, and then it'll, it'll let you type in a previous date. So here we go, I'm going to tick family, yeah. It's family life, yeah, so here we go. So this, it's obviously, this is, you know, so oh, what am I? Yeah, I'm a parent, there you go. If you've been here for, you know, X amount of years, it'd be private life. Uh, if it's uh, and you, you've got the visa on that basis and what you can do is often check the letter you got to tell you on what basis you've got leave to remain so use your old letters from the home office as a guide so I'm just going to again make this up save and continue time spent out since you started living here no I mean if people have been on a holiday you can put your holidays down but just to save time I'm putting no yeah uh, here we go other countries details so oh yeah this is what we've got to do so if you I'm, I'm saying i was born in pakistan so what i do is i put yeah i was born in pakistan i put my birth when i was born and then when i left so they're asking you have you lived in other any other countries yeah because in this application i was born in pakistan i left pakistan when i came to the uk in 2007 yeah and the reason why i left there you type in there you're born there nice and simple yeah you don't need long-winded answers. I do lots of these. People get from a list of answers because that's ultimately what the Home Office are doing. And also, if they have information about you anyway, yeah? So, I'm going to type in since I left, yeah? So, I didn't visit my country in this application. Again, I'm saving time, yeah? But if you have, it's not a problem because it's a family life application. I'm going to put mum and siblings, yeah. This is fine. I mean, I don't know why they ask you these questions, but it is what it is, and you've got to work through this, yeah. So, say, leave in the UK, if you're required to leave, just put the country of origin. Again, some of these questions, I don't know why they, you know, is it necessary? They seem to think so, but just carry on with it, yeah. And then what you can do is, I've developed family life here or children have developed family life here so um, just put that why you can't go back yeah you might have a job or you might have settled or whatever just put you know you're settled here or you and your children are settled in the UK I tick all the boxes again at the end of this of what you need. So yes, I have a biometric card if you haven't clearly put making up my pen. So uh, and see here, look, I made a mistake because it's nine numbers I forgot. Uh, it won't let you go forward if you make a mistake on a lot of these things. So here we go. That's an insurance number. I tried to use their one, it wouldn't work, so I just put I haven't got one. But if you've got one, type it in. So I try to use their one. Obviously, they got Y to it, so they didn't like it. Again, if you struggle with this, you can always press pause, go back to it, have a look at it again. Yeah, you can pause the video and take your time because I'm kind of going through this relatively quickly. So there again, if you make a mistake, sometimes it will. I'm just going to tick no because I'm with. We're doing the 10 year route. This is the majority of our, uh, the people we see. So obviously if you've done the English language test, you tick yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, only you would, yeah. Did you, I'm going to say, you know, the stage. So I'm again, I'm just making up the dates. 
There we go. Saving. Uh, have you been refused? Yeah, a lot of the guys I work with have been. They put family life applications in or other student visa applications and they've been refused. So disclose everything. If you can't remember, just put approximately. Yeah, that's fine. They've accepted that in the records because you're 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 putting in your home office reference number and you know with your biometric card details. So have you overstayed? Yes, after my last refusal I've put. This is a very kind of common thing. Again, I'm doing this on the phone. See, sitting on the sofa. So, you know, it's 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 not that that difficult. As you can see, uh, I'm not that good at typing either. Some people prefer laptops, some people prefer phones. I personally prefer a laptop, but I've got this app where I could video it, so this is what I'm doing. So, have you ever been, if you have, tick yes, put a few details down. If you haven't, no. If you've got any, just put them in. Again, uh, just put approximately, yeah? Again, they'll have your records, but it's you have to make refusal. Again, these are silly questions. Are you a terrorist? I don't know if you were a terrorist, you know, I don't know any, but I don't know if they tick yes. Seems a very odd question, but tick no, no, no. Obviously, if you are a terrorist, tick yes. A person of good character, generally, no, yeah. Bit of an odd question. Home office reference number generally starts with your initial of your surname. So, like, for me, Mirza M. If your surname is Jones, it'll be J and then a series of numbers. You can find that on home office reference numbers. So I'm going to say I'm single. So if you've got an applying partner or a non-applying partner, you put their details there. That is a non-applying partner, yeah? So if your partner's British. But I'm going to say I'm single. So as you can see, I'm going to say I've never been married. Uh, have I got any children? Yes, because my parents are... I'm going to say one of them's British, which some people have. If no, again, put no, no. If you're putting all your kids on there, then you, then you tick no for this. Because it's about non-applying at the moment, yeah? So eldest is British, so my eldest imaginary child doesn't have to uh, be apply on this application because they're British citizens. So I'm saving that. Name of child not applying, so here we go. It's going to be Mr. That's my imaginary son. In he goes. He's very quiet. He's a good lad. That's probably because he doesn't exist. So he was born in Britain, I'm going to say, so he's British. British. There you go. Drop down menu again. Yeah. I'm making up his date of birth. 1-1. One, one. We were all born on the 1st of January. There you go. Country of birth. Again, drop down menu. United Kingdom. Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There you go. And I'm going to say in English. Save that one. Gives a mail. And then we ask, the, ask silly questions about children. Are they married and things like that. There we go. So, bit of an odd one, but there you go again. This form is odd in places, yeah. Um, and the role, this you can put this down, yeah. He lives with me full time, yeah. I take it. I generally put this down, yeah. Take care of his daily needs, yeah. Again, you don't have to put too much detail in this. Just put that because when you put the evidence in the school letters, things like that, they can see that you know the child lives with you. So here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna say the child has if child's not got then just put put no yeah so just pop all that information down and we're kind of halfway through the application already so you know here we go yeah i forgot his date of birth yeah no no but that, that's his passport yeah so i'm just putting his passport details in my, but that all all this information you would have on your child and your passport so not a problem make sure you've got all that stuff in front of you yeah uh, and I'm gonna say he normally lives with me yeah if, if again if, if if your son or daughter lives with somebody else you put the details down and you just work through the drop-down menu with that yeah so a lot of these questions are you know have an extended family there we go so what did I put? I put yes and then it it wouldn't let me carry on, so I put no. Because it, it's odd because it says they're not including this application, yeah? And in a sense, the sister isn't. But then, anyhow, just put that there. Put no. Here we go. Click. Yes. 
so does child extended I just save and continue when did he and you can put born in the UK and then date of birth or just date of birth yeah his birth there we go and continue again you can always return to this app if you notice there in the little orangey bit return to this application not orange sorry purpley return to this application later on and then here uh other parent i'm the sole carer there you go does anyone else have this period i'll put nobody if they have put yes and then put their details down yeah so i'm going to say i am financially responsible for them then you could that's the chance to put that down if you want to raise it there yeah and yeah, i've said no because i'm going to say i've got two kids so again english again previous two years i've put no but if you have lived in different addresses here's the time when you have to it'll ask you to fill it in yeah so you just look at you know just follow the instructions on the online application so here we go i'm just checking it i don't know i just i should have done this quicker but here we go down 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 yeah this gives you an eater you can change check it you can on you can as you do this you can check it as as you as you carry on with it here we go yeah yeah here we go continue right so you've got a dependent and they're on the applications you're applying together you put them here but because I'm single, I'm just putting my other child who's not British. Again, if you've got a partner, you put them here. This is where you start adding people on your application who've got limited leave to remain along with you. So I'm going to say I've got a daughter. She's going to be similar name to me without the N, Salma. Here we go. Save and continue. No, I mean, if they've got another name, just pop it in there. You know, if they name change the name by deed poll or anything like that, yeah. And then it, you can explain why, yeah. Change name by deed poll, yeah. So a lot of these things are going to be the same as me, yeah. She's going to be using my email, my telephone number. Uh, they won't. They don't contact the children. They generally just contact the main applicant. So here we go. Same address. Yeah up here that's where we all live when did we start living there a little over two years ago so that's got any other information down about other addresses just to save time on this application she's a female again single odd question for children here we go nationality yeah again we've got a drop down menu there pakistan my imaginary daughter date of birth one one again we were born on January the 1st, for this application anyway, yeah, and born in Pakistan. And Lovely. Again, pretty straightforward, a lot of repetition in this form, a lot of repetition. But again, don't stress, take your time, yeah, have all your information in front of you, your passport details. And again, you know, we work for a chat brush strokes as a charity. We don't charge. We can do applications for you. We can guide you through them. But this is, I think this is, a, hopefully it's going to be a helpful video. Yeah, but we'll see. So here we go. Passport detail. You know, you'll have all this information. Yeah. Uh, in front of you. So here we go. Yeah. And I'm going to say yes. Again, for the fee, what if they've got a fee waiver, you might be applying when your visa's expired but you've still got leave to remain but put all those details down yeah and then put because i applied for a fee waiver so here we go we're going to put in the biometric i'm not going to make the same mistake again so i'm going to add the extra numbers there we go but then you'll have your uh biometric card i think it's on the top right hand side of your biometric card the, the actual number yeah uh so i'm going to say no here we go again it's going to be the same information i put about myself because you know we're going to assume that uh my daughter came with me uh if your daughter or your son came at a different time then obviously the answer is going to be slightly different but um 
in the main, I've found that a lot of the folk we work with, they came as a family. So, you know, there's, again, there's a lot of repetition there, yeah? So, here we go. And again, you can always go back to the application later. You don't have to do it all in one go. And you can um, come back to it, like I said, you know, just go, but you access it via your email, okay? You don't go on the Home Office website. You access your application if you're going on and off it via your email, yeah? Which I showed earlier, yeah? So, here we go. I've been saying, I'm just typing the same things I typed about myself. And again, I'm typing the same things about myself. There we go. And for the lot of the guys you work with, you can literally type this word for word because, you know, uh, this is quite a common uh, experience for the, the guys we work with. So here we go. Saving. No. We're going to say no. And again, let me check the form before you send it. The way I'm asking people to do is if you email me, uh, contact me first, email me with the link, forward me the home office link and with the password. And it means I can actually check this form like this. I can check your form so I can go through it for you. Yeah? Obviously, I won't know a lot of the things because I won't have your passport details in front of me. I won't have your biometric card in front of me. But all you're doing is copying numbers which you can see in front of you. So, you know, pretty straightforward, yeah. And again, I'm going to say that Salma lives with me. Salma is my daughter, my imaginary daughter. Here we go. So, I'm going to say I've got parental responsibility. And a lot of these things, you know, you know the answer to. If you've got shared responsibility, then you're gonna you're gonna put that in. Yeah, it could be with your partner, you could be living with your partner, or you know, you could be your partner could be living somewhere else but have shared responsibility, you know, to see them on the weekends or something like that, yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I'm gonna put no. And again I'm gonna put down Develop family life. There we go for 12 years. No, that comes in a bit there. So, yeah, how long have they lived here? So, there we go. Questions, pretty straightforward, yeah. I'm putting no here just to save time, yeah. I'm going to put no. Again, with this uh, one, have you lived in another country? I'm not sure I'm mm -hmm. put that right, but you have to put, well, she was born there, so 2003 to 2007, so three, four, five, six, six years. So if you were born somewhere else and it says, have you li ever lived in another country, including the country of birth, you put the country of birth. And for Salma, that would be that, yeah? So I'm not sure if I put that there, but again, I could, you always go back to the form and correct it, yeah? So here we go. I mean, I always say to people, don't send it off until I've kind of double checked it, yeah? And especially the evidence. But at the moment, there's no appointments because of COVID-19. And again, I'm just typing these standard answers in. Develop family. Yeah, this is where we just say develop family life. I mean, if you get tired when you're filling this form, because it can be quite time repetitive, have a break. Yeah, do it over a couple of days. As long as you uh, apply before your current visa expires within 28 days, your leave continue. They call it leave. That's fine. So that's the key. The key is do it before your visa expires. But obviously don't do it three months before your visa expires because that's too early. You do it within 28 days. And when you press send, pop off it goes. Your application is in. And you are, you're, you are deemed to have an in-time application and your leave continues until there's a decision. So again, there's a lot of repetition here. I've written this about myself earlier. 
Uh, I'm going to put no. And also there's other issues around, you know, if they, again, if your child has any health issues, you can pop that in there. Uh, I'm going to put no. Yeah. Other, this is the health issues or anything like that. They've got a learning disability or anything like that. That's cool. So here we go. Yeah, just zoom through that. Again, a lot of the answers for your kids are going to be very, the same as your answer kind of thing, yeah? So I'm going to say that's it. Saving, here we go. Yes, and this is where I have to put the child we're relying on, which was the British one. So I'm going to put Mo Mirza in there, yeah? Save and continue again. Own where you th this is something you would know, yeah. So it could be localized, it could be a housing association. I want to put private, I'm just making things up as, yeah. So uh, evidence of monthly housing cost and accommodation. You put this is when you put your bank statements in your income and expenses. Here we go. Uh, bedrooms, you know, if you've got two or three bedrooms, what they mean by the other ones, you might have a living room, you might have two living rooms, yeah. You don't include the kitchen, bathroom, and toilet. So if you've got one living room downstairs, you put one. That's what I've put here, yeah? And does anyone else live? No. If somebody does, obviously you put them in. Are you working? I'm going to say yes. And I'm just going to just put this down. If, obviously, if you're not working, then you put no. And you, you, I think they'll ask you for about benefits, yeah? Letter from the employer, pay slips. So you put six months bank statements and pay slips and, you know, income and expenses, yeah? To show, you know, how you're you know, how you're living and that financially, yeah? So I'm going to say, if you're not receiving public funds, obviously tick no, then you're going to move on, but I'm going to say I am. I'm going to say I'll get child benefit and I'm just making it up, yeah? So here we go, in it goes. And if you've got any of these, you just pop them in. I know universal credit is a thing now, so here we go. You can put that in there and just type it in, yeah? So... Write anything else here? So you just, if you don't tick some of these boxes, it won't let you down so much. Yeah? I'll tell you about the evidence at the end of this form. Yeah. So other income, I'm going to say no, no, no. If you've got other income, like you might be renting property, I don't know, then you pop that in there. There we go. That's the finances. Again, you can change your answers and double check it. Uh, here we go. And I'm just going to put again. Could they be affected? Children spent informative years in the UK. Here we go. And again, or yourself, I have spent a number of years in the UK. Application is based on previous grant of leave to remain. You can type that in. Best interest of the child. Yeah. And ECHR8, which is European Convention for Human Rights, articulate family life. But to save time, I type in ECHR8. The Home Office know what it is, I know what it is, everybody knows what it is, so I don't have to write some long explanation of what it is, what ECH means, yeah? And again, we, we, I've done this for a lot of people and we've been very successful, yeah? So, here we go, yeah? So I'll just tick no here. Any other reasons? No. If you don't tick these boxes, I don't even read them. I just tick all the boxes and press send, yeah? Because if you don't tick any of the, if you tick miss one box, you think I'm not going to provide that, the application won't let you go forward. So don't worry about this. Just tick the boxes. And again, you know, generally, you know, if I've checked it and I've said, yeah, this is all right, I've, I've not had many refusals. You know, most people get this, you know. In many ways, just a case of the Home Office fleecing you for two and a half grand or whatever it is, yeah? Which is 2,100, yeah? So, yeah, just tick all the boxes. So, here we go. This is about, if only people haven't, so I'm ticking no here. But if you have, if you've got a joint account with your partner or someone else, then you pick, tick yes. Go, I am the applicant, so you tick that. Again, we're ticking this here. Saving, we are near the end. Fee, if you've got a fee waiver code, this is where you type it in. And, you know, it'll, you know, then you type in the names, we've been accepted. I'm saying I haven't. So this is where I'm going to stop. This redirects you to the immigration uh, health surcharge. You pay a £1,000 there. On the, well, the, at the moment, 
uh, and then it takes you to the UKBS web. You can see what's happening now. But at, as at currently, everything's suspended. So when you pay the IAHS and when you pay your fee and when you press send, your application is sent. And that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, go to the front of this video.